Hi everyone, uh, we've got a customer downstairs who would like to know how to program a Toptronic digital timer. Can we record a quick video? Yeah, sure. sure. These are the initial settings for the timer. You want to set the time and date of the timer. You keep in the reset button for two seconds. It will reset. You want to keep in the time clock button and set your date and your hours and your minutes. So we're going to keep it in. Press the day until it comes to Thursday, which is today. You want to set our time to 9 a.m. It's 9 a.m. now. And of course, you can set the minutes. One thing to notice is if you keep this button in too long, you will see it changes to a 12 hour cycle. So it becomes uh, AM and PM. You rather want to keep it on a 24 hour cycle, which is much easier to use. You just keep this button in until the AM or PM disappears. Let's hit the program of the timer. So you want to press the P for program, program one on. Let's set it for every day of the week. And it's to 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. So it will be press program again. It will say program one off. And it will show 8 a.m. Then let's do another program for the afternoon. You press P2 on. We're going to say from, let's call it. Seventeen hundred hours until nineteen hundred hours. If we press P again, it'll take us to option number three, but we don't want another one, so we can exit the menu by pressing the clock button. We can double check our times. It's P one on for every day of the week from six until eight. P two on is from seventeen hundred hours until 1900 hours and we can exit the menu by pressing the clock button again the timer has four functions on off auto on auto off and you change it by using this larger button in the previous step we set our program one to six o'clock to eight o'clock in the morning and our program two from five o'clock to seven o'clock in the afternoon so let's say we're going to use this uh, timer for our geezer, which you can also use for your lights. But for our geezer, just remember there's four settings that you can use. You can use the on, you can use the off, you can use the auto on and the auto off. The on you hardly use. If you select on, the timer is bypassed and the geezer will get current 24-7. Uh, that's good to use like uh, if you know there's a lot of people that want to shower you can leave it on and you don't have to worry about it and then at the end of the day you can switch it to auto on or auto off uh, option number two off is a good option if you're going away for a couple of days you don't want your geezer to go on you can leave it on off and it's going to stay off now let's say you're installing this timer and it's 7 30 in the morning so that falls within our P1. So then you would select the auto on button. So that means that between six and eight, it will be on automatically. And then after eight, it will be off automatically. It will switch to auto off automatically and automatically at five o'clock in the afternoon, it will switch back to auto on. So similarly, if, you if we install this timer at 9 a.m., we would use the auto off function so that um, so that the timer will be off and then automatically at five o'clock in the afternoon it will come it will change to auto on so the timer if it's on auto mode it switches between auto on and auto off based on what time you install it